Good morning, folks. If you forgot that the big sunspot was still visible on the sun, you can thank the Earth facing quiet for utterly silencing the monster. We've got other space weather and some cool news, but let's start with the sun over at spaceweathernews.com. Last 24 hours are showing a heap of quiet, bales upon bales of silence. Good look at the coronal holes, though. When we go to 304 angstroms, we see ionized helium, which does a great job showing us the plasma filaments, but we see a much less interesting limb situation and no central ejections taking place. Meanwhile, here at Earth, the solar wind has intensified at the expected time, but luckily not yet at levels we expected. We are expecting a level 1 geomagnetic storm from this stream, but the ramp up has only taken us about 50-75% to 75 above normal plasma speed, where we often can see a 100-200% to 200 increase, still calm in Earth's magnetic field for now. The solar wind is coming from that departing corona hole to the right, but as you can see, the northern reach is right back here, sneakily ready to begin facing Earth again tonight. Hello. And goodbye, as we've got a date in the cosmos with IC-10. Chandra once again reveals what we can't see, optical light of the cluster here, but if you were Superman and could add the X-ray spectrum, it would look like this. Chandra located the high-energy emitters that are not so visible or not visible at all when you only look in the visible electromagnetic light spectrum. Up next, folks, this gorgeous Mars photo was after what appears to be a recent megaquake that put ripples in the land. Nibiru must be getting much, much closer. Oh, wait, that's not Mars, it's Molly, right here on Earth. But hey, for those of you who panicked momentarily, do you see how easy that was? It shouldn't be. Moving on to things that actually exist, we covered the cloud experiment this past week, but now it's time for cream. It's all about cosmic rays and trying to figure out how they work so we can forecast the skies during a solar grand minimum and Earth's magnetic reversal, both of which are at hand. Cloud told us that the aerosol pathway is only a tiny fraction of the definitive swing in cloud forcing over the 11-year solar cycle, but ionization is still a great candidate, along with all the solar sources. This one will investigate the cascade and electron influence, aka the ionization. Folks are going to be discussing these cosmic ray experiments on today's podcast. Website members, you'll have your weekly show in a few hours under premium then click fly on the wall. We'll also be discussing Vaxxed. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.